So in this video, I want to talk about the subdivide tool, and this does exactly what it sounds like. It takes a mesh or a face and it subdivides it and creates more geometry. So let's take a look at how this subdivide tool works with a plane and a cube. The results are a little bit different, and I want you to see how they work with both a 2D and a 3D object. So if we click on the plane and press tab to go into edit mode, I can then go up to edge and we find the option here of a subdivide. What you can see happened here is we took our plane and it's now subdivided up into four faces instead of just a single face. Now we could do that over and over again. We could repeat the subdivision over and over again until we get as many faces as we want. Or you can look down here at the bottom left and you'll see that there's the last operator tool. If we open that up, we're going to get some options about the tool that we just used. And this shows up all the time and works for a lot of different tools. Most notably here with the subdivide is the number of cuts. Right now it's set to one. We just cut each edge in half. If I click the right arrow here, you can see that we get more and more geometry. You can also grab here in the middle and scrub back and forth. A note of caution if you're working on an older machine, particularly an older laptop, you can create so much geometry that it's going to cause some problems. Blender may slow down. It's possible that Blender looks like it crashed. I don't think it will, um, but it is possible on a particularly older machine. You also notice that this should be limited to 10, and that's partially for that reason. If I scrub that up, it's going to max out at 10 so we don't get too much geometry. However, if I click on it, I can then type in a value larger than 10. And again, this is where we need to be cautious about how much geometry we are creating. Let's go back to object mode, select our cube and back into edit mode. I'm going to subdivide this one just like I did before. And you can see here now every face is subdivided. Just pretty convenient. Again, I can scrub up the number of cuts like so, and I get more and more geometry in my cube, which is going to allow us to um, get more and more creative with this primitive shape and turn it into something a little bit more interesting. 